Right now, researchers in the U.S. and around the world are running tests on Omicron, working to learn more about its effects and how vaccines hold up against it. Our Joe Ripley is here. And Joe, I know you spent some time today talking with one of the Georgia labs that tests for this new variant. What are they saying? That's right. One epidemiologist I spoke with told me cases are about three times higher than they were before the Delta variant hit the state. In those summer months, there are still con some concerns with Omicron. Holiday gatherings are likely to lead to a spike in cases coming up. Up, but vaccinations are also on the rise with Georgia reporting 52% of people fully vaccinated. Michelle Woodall is set to head home to Dallas, masked up times two, plus she's vaccinated. I'm also going to get the booster uh, that's coming out. I'm going to wait just a little bit because now we have that other variant that came out. She's worried about the onset of the Omicron variant. Mako Labs, a private company, does about 30,000 COVID tests a day, sequencing positive cases. Matthew Tugwell says Mako's only found about 10 cases of Omicron nationwide. He says Mako is sending three of those Omicron positive samples to the CDC for additional testing. Lab culturing the virus, growing it, treating it with different antibodies um, you know, that are found in these vaccines to determine what the efficacy is going to be. That could take several weeks, Tugwell says. Georgia's new COVID case numbers are down 86 percent from the start of September, and hospitalizations and deaths are at seasonal lows this year, according to the Department of Public Health. But Dr. Jody Guess with Emory University's Rollins School of Public Health says case numbers are starting to inch up due to holiday gatherings. While Omicron is making all the headlines, Delta is still the variant that we are dealing with here, and we need to continue our fight to try to stop the spread of Delta cases. She says masking, frequent testing, vaccinations and boosters can stop the spread of COVID, including the variants. And the more we layer our measures of prevention, the safer we're all going to be and the less transmission we're going to see. Woodall's concern, how many people utilize those prevention measures? Like I know what death looks like. Uh, I know what grieving looks like. I know the effects of family members that it had. And coming up at six, we will take a deeper dive into the new travel restrictions starting today, how they might curb the spread of the new Omicron variant, plus the mixed reviews on how well those restrictions will work. All right, Joe, we will see you then, sir, as we head.